Welcome to a very special Just Teach Crypto. This is AZ Crypto, Mr. Fromo, Mr. Fromo. We had a nice little audience last night live. Uh, in last twenty, less than twenty four hours, over three hundred views, picked up some subs. So thank you guys, and please keep it up. Please hit subscribe. Please hit like. Please share. Please give us a thumbs up, and hopefully soon we'll be going live even more often. Um, we wanted to clear something up, and this is very important. There was some communication from Voyager today and the committee, the, the creditors committee. And we, ju we have some people and some people have been reaching out to me and I've had to educate them. There's been no promises that you're getting your crypto back based on today's communication. What they've told you is they have not liquidated your crypto. So I wanted to share something. I just want to make it clear what's going on here. And it says important from today's uh, Voyager Q&A email. To be clear through the claims process, you will confirm the number and type of your coins. Now, you should have gotten an email. If not, we will put the link below where you can check and they'll give you, they'll email you a link and you will see what you were holding on the 5th of July. This process does not price your crypto converted to dollars. All this is saying is they're not liquidating you as of right now. You know? <laughs> if things go horribly wrong, we end up in a different chapter of, of bankruptcy, which we don't think is going to happen. Remember, There's we got, the, indication we got the bids and auction. But this is not saying you're getting your crypto back. And if you've been following us, you know they lent out a, a large amount of their BTC to three arrows. So it, it's complicated. But they're not guaranteeing you that if you had your BTC, you're getting it all back or certain percentage back. That hasn't been decided. I've got a couple people that are pretty smart people trying to tell me, well, this is it. It's black and white. You're getting your crypto back. No, that's not what it says. It says that this process does not price your crypto. What it means is you are confirming when they took the snapshot, and we told you about this a long time ago, they were taking snapshots on July 5th. This is what you had at the time. That's the confirmation that this is what you had. That's it. That's um, it. I'm not guaranteeing you anything else right now. The only thing they've guaranteed right now, and it's a soft guarantee, is the staking force plan, which was a combination of crypto, a combination of equity in the new company, some VGX tokens, and, and it and it was it was you know left up in the air because that was the emergency plan. But the plan is for an acquisition on the thirteenth coming up next month. We're on the last day of August, so you guys watch this. It'll be September. Right? We're getting closer here. So we got the six with the with all the bids due, and on the thirteenth, when hopefully we do get a buyer, they will come up with a better solution than this. OK, so this isn't saying you're getting all your crypto back a certain percentage. It's just clarifying, hey, you are a creditor. Here's what you had on the fifth. We are not liquidating. Well, let's, let's let's even chop it up even more. You know, um, let's say you held VGX tokens like we did, um, you know, it, depending on who buys it and what their plan is for VGX moving forward. You know what? What is what is the VGX that you hold after this process is through, and and how much value, if any, does it have? You know, I, I, there's there's a lot of things that are still up in the air. So there's not. A, a, I would hesitate to say anything in this process in black and white. Like you said, the staking horse um, is subject to change. Uh, but that is something that we hope not to have to deal with. We hope to. Oh yeah. Buyer, we talked about that. Be yeah. made whole. We hope to have the platform running in quarter one. And and so these these things are all up in the air and and hopefully um, this clears some of that up because it's it's heartbreaking to hear. Yeah, it, it, basically when they say convert it to dollars, that means sell off your crypto in the liquidation format. They're saying right now to be clear, that's not what you are okaying them to do or you know claiming. What you're claiming is that the amount of tokens that you have and the correct ones as of July fifth, when they went into bankruptcy, are correct. That's all this is. Yeah. There's nothing else. So some people are reading too much into that. We just wanted to make it clear because, you know, there, there's a lot of confusion. I think our show does a good job of trying to keep everyone informed. And we, we love our, our new audience and we'll keep doing that. But no, 
This is not saying you're getting your crypto back. This is not saying you're getting a percentage of it back. This is just saying as of July 5th, here's what you held. If it's not true, you have to do a claim. If you don't, nothing is necessary. But right. it's not promising your crypto back. And we want to make that clear. We don't want to give you any false hope. We don't know until we find out who the buyer is, what their intentions are. Hopefully they do make us whole. But we can't just assume that, and especially from this tweet. And so I just wanted to I wanted to make that well, clear. I, I, you know. Twitter amounts to a game of telephone anyway. So really, you've, you've got to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. And I, I think that, you know, until this process is over, you can't you can't say that anything's black and white. And, and my, I think my my biggest fear is that people are getting their hopes up that something's going to happen soon. And really, we, we want you to be realistic and, and think quarter January. Earliest is January. And, and that's earliest. I mean, really, I, I would say February, March is when I would. I, I, I'm still optimistic in January because November, December is two months to get everything together. And then I might be wrong, but I, I think January <laughs> is still possible. Well, I'm thinking marketing, too. You, you well, know, whoever the new company is, we talked about this. You don't want to delay it too much because then you, pardon my language, would piss people off because people are ready to go. They want to get back into training. So the people that want to stay with you, the longer you delay, uh, the less likely you are to stay. So there's a lot of factors here. But please just understand, everybody, that the, this communication does not mean you're getting everything back. It just means here's what you have at the time. They are still trying to figure out the final plan. And that won't be known until we have a buyer. So I think we've cleared that up. Um, and, and one thing I, I, I wanted to touch on um, there, you said that they, hopefully they open in quarter one and not too late. And and that's a good point because remember, they're going to run up against the Halloween indicator in May, you know, go away in May and stay away until October. And so we, that that also puts them in kind of a bind. If you open up too late, you open up and, and people FOMO in and then the market falls apart again, possibly it's going to be an ugly situation. So well, I talked about, though, in Binance yesterday, I talked about Binance where they take over. They have all everything they need. You know, they, obviously, they'll need a couple months to get everything together. But, you know, I, I don't want to get too far on myself. But in the scenario where Binance is, is the bid, let's let's dream for a minute. In the scenario where Binance is the winning bid and everything gets out at the end of October, early November, that's the path. Those are the dates. So the judge signs off the first couple days of November, right? You have November, December, part of January to get everything together. They have all the tokens already that they need. They would fill in the hole as much as they could, whatever they decided. I have a feeling for Binance, you know, they, they would take care of the customers as much as possible, try to get them to stay. And and they would they, they would be incentivized to open as soon as possible because they want the new customer. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, again, the next couple of weeks are going to be critical. So you got to keep yeah, it here. Yeah, stick around. And if you... And you know people that are not subscribed, get them to subscribe. Uh, I wanted to switch gears really quickly and hit on the uh, Ethereum. We know the merge is coming mid-September. Um, there was a few tweets today that talked about the Mt. Gox. If you don't know, that's a lot of Bitcoin that's being possibly hitting the market because these people <laughs> have had their crypto trap on the same day. What a coincidence, Mr. Fomo, that they would pick that day to start releasing some of the Bitcoin. Weird. Well, uh, you, you're you're running into another, there, there is sort of a perfect storm brewing because we also have ADA and their Vassal hard fork that possibly could be maybe on the same date or near that date. And so you're going to have some run-ups. And I have a feeling that after that hard fork, you might see the market fall apart a little bit. So if you're, you know, if you wanted to to jump in now, not financial advice, you might see a little bit of run up on ADA. You might see a run up on ETH for sure. You might even see a run up on some of the the other ones that are ETH competitors. Uh, you know, we already mentioned ADA, but say Polygon or Solana, those might see a little bit of a run up. You know, especially since this isn't going to make uh, ETH any faster or cheaper as far as gas fees. So, no, I, I think we're going to have another uh, pump, but again, we're still in the bear market. And we would be crazy to leave our audience without talking about VGX, which has seen some amazing volume. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you with something at the end of the show that you were not expecting. Uh, just wait. But <laughs> VGX, we talked about this leading up to the six could really see some volume. We've already seen a lot of volume. It started with the Binance rumor and the rumor that FTX was still interested. And in the, even the last couple of days, the volume has continued to go up. My feeling is not financial advice, of course. 
leading up to the six, we're going to see a decent pump. Now, I, I do you might I do see a think few this, decent pumps. I, I do think that this is the time if you were in it somewhere else. Obviously, the Voyager has about between 58 and 60 percent of supply. That's locked. So if you have the VGX somewhere else, you want to think to take profits because unless we get permanent good news, and then remember, even if we have a buyer, we have to wait and see what they're going to do with VGX. That's a complete unknown. It's not, we could still get our VGX back, but what is it going to be worth if there's no VLP and there's no plan? It's going to, that the day it opens, it's going to drastically go down in value. So we just have to wait and see what happens. Just, uh, I want to hit you with something before we leave today. Um, <laughs> As far as, 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 as you know, Mr. Fomo, I try to be active on the Twitter spaces. And uh, there was a Twitter oh, space God. last night about Luna Classic going to a dollar. I did not join, you know, even though it was 1230, one o'clock in the morning. I did not join. I, I know you were working on some other things, but um, I, I thought to myself, what? I looked at the Luna. Uh, <laughs> I, it's funny. I looked at the uh, Luna charts today. They were going insane. The volume is going insane. Um there's a lot of people putting money into Luna. Is is this sustainable? And we're talking about Luna Classic, the original one. We don't want to bring up the entire story of what happened. We know Daekwon is getting uh, investigated, but they are burning some of the supply. And believe it or not, there's people that are buying this. Um, do you see? I, I did not. I did not prep you for this. I want to get your honest reaction. Do you see a scenario where in our in the next between now and the next bull run, Luna makes it back to one cent, ten cents, or dare I say, the title of yesterday's <laughs> Twitter space, a dollar. Do you see any of those as a possibility? Give me your honest answer, and I'll give you mine, and you might be shocked. I mean, what's the, what's the supply now? I mean, at one point it was like a quadrillion or something like that. It's, it's down a little bit. It's down a little. Bit. But token <laughs> burns are magical things, you know. I mean, if you get rid of a massive portion of that supply, yeah, sure. But the problem is they minted, <laughs> they they minted, you uh, know, most of that supply when everything went down. So you don't have to remind me. They, we lived that nightmare. Unless they plan on burning like 90% of what they got, I, I you know, I, I think it's possible. I think that, yeah, token burns are magic. So this this month, Mr. Possible, Promo. I think they have to burn an awful lot of tokens. Because I know you haven't been following this. This month, it's easy to miss. Classic Luna is up 119%. It, now, just this month. Now, the, the, <laughs> the market cap is back up to 1.4 billion which i mean way below used to be but the fact that it's up there again is crazy to me what do you think the 24 hour volume has been on classic luna take a guess this is how crazy it's 1.4 billion uh no not that high 441.86 oh, i was saying million. the market i was saying the market cap. no 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 the 24 hour volume is 441 so in the last 24 hours people over the world have invested 441 Point eight six million into a, a, a basically what's a new point now well Crazy. I mean, I, it, it, you really could say i mean anytime something like anytime a, a token has some sort of black swan event they say the same thing about vgx there's a meme token oh. now. but but here's the thing you, you made a huge uh before everything went down <laughs> you still hold I mean, we have to it's stuck on voyager a significant amount of luna classic so my dream for both of us is in January lock, or February lock, we lock open we, yeah. we open no not the lock Luna uh, did you get did you sell your Luna Classic Mr. Fomo no I still have that. okay good good because here, here's my dream scenario for us and any of the listeners if you sell Luna Classic Voyager or whatever it's called opens back up in January or February and there there's a magical run and Luna gets back to ten cents or a dollar that would be a great way to welcome us back. So, I mean, I'm just, I, I'm dreaming here, but I, I know you, you own a lot more than, even more than me. I own a decent amount. I mean, it's worth almost nothing now still, but who right. knows? It's Crazier it's things have happened. I, I'm going to say this. I, I will say this. <laughs> Between now and the end of the next bull run, Luna will definitely get to one cent. I, 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 not, I'm not a fan like I used to be, but I'm just saying this is the way crypto works. Some things just don't make sense. And my prediction that really doesn't make any sense is that Luna Classic will make it back to one cent sometime between now and the next bull run. You have it here. Guys, 
keep it here. What and, are you doing if you haven't subscribed? Here's my prediction. Ada will go to 50 cents from 44 sometime in the near future. Well, that's that's easy. That's easy. <laughs> because if you want more of this content, you got to subscribe. You got to share. You got to like. You got to do all that. And we'll be back in September. And we'll be getting very, very close to that uh, bid date where everything is due and then the auction. So keep it here for Mr. Fromo. This is AZ Crypto. Have a great night, everybody. See ya.